what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Rissa Dean and we back with another video so in today's video we're gonna be doing just a little girl chat we're gonna just chit chat a little bit because there's some things that I want to talk about I need to put this I need to put these pillows behind my back oh so anyways like I was saying it's just some things that I don't want to I'm about to ride my own motorcycle or something. But it's just some things that I want to talk about. It's just been my vibe for 2024 this year. And it's just some things that I want to talk about. So, really, two things that I'm telling myself this year. First thing is give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. But don't abuse the grace. But not too much. Like, give yourself grace, but not too much don't abuse the grace you know like sometimes i think and i might have heard somebody say this i don't know but sometimes i think about it and i'm like i think I'm, my pastor might have said this he probably did but um i just think about it from time to time because it's like god gives us so much grace and he gives us so much mercy but like don't abuse that don't just keep doing the same thing like you just know God got you. But you doing something that you ain't got no business doing and you know God gonna bring you out of there. Like, don't abuse his grace and his mercy. And so, um, I just, like, I think about that from time, a, a lot. So, what I've been, like, what's been really resonating with me lately for myself is, like, give myself grace. Like, okay. One of my goals, like I've been trying to get up at six o'clock every morning. And so I've, I've been doing it all week, but like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I did not get up at six. It was like a little after six. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, you give yourself grace, but tomorrow morning, it's not gonna be fine. Like I need to get up. I need to just go to sleep. Um earlier and get up earlier like I just need that's what I need to do like because that's my goal that's something that I want to do I want to be a morning person and it don't matter if like sometimes the baby have his way and I be tired but regardless of that because we as mothers for real like we can do anything and be tired as all get out but we still do it as tired as we are and so that's really not like an excuse i want to be a morning person and that is my goal to get up at six right now my my goal like eventually my goal really is to get up at five to be a five a.m girly i've been saying this forever and i was doing it at one point and then i got pregnant <laughs> and you know that first trimester so you be tired you be real tired so yeah you can give myself grace on that but like but what I'm saying is don't give yourself so much grace when you're just always making like an excuse for not doing the things that you say you want to do. And you always make an excuse for it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't make no excuse for it. Like, you're just saying like, oh, no, but I'm just giving myself grace. Because a lot of people are saying it. Like, give yourself grace. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. But no, don't let up on that pressure. Keep Keep putting that pressure on yourself. Like, don't let up. Give yourself a little grace, but not too much. And that's how that's how I feel, like, about myself. And I'm telling, I'm telling y'all that, too, for real. Like, don't let up on the pressure. Keep the pressure on yourself. Because you set these goals. Did nobody else set these goals? You did. These are the things that you want to do. Do it. You got one. That's what I be telling myself. Like, and I mean, I know I'm pregnant, so I might have a little... Like, I can give myself just a little bit more grace, but, like, I'm pregnant, and I'm about to have another baby. Like, so it's like, girl, you just don't have to, just don't have to continue to know how to move while you're tired. Like, period. Like, get your rest, but you ain't got to, like, don't, not too much. Like, just not too much. You can't sleep all day, and you got things that you want to do, and you got a whole family. Like, it's just, that's just the facts. But anyways, um, so like what I be telling myself is, um, like on some days I, um, 
I might be really super tired when I get off. And I do what I gotta do. I come home, I cook, and I get the girls ready for bed. But then when it's time to do the things that I be want to do for myself, I be like, mm, I don't feel like it. And so what I've been telling myself is like, okay, I can do that today. But tomorrow, I can't do that. Like, you had your day yesterday. And you cannot do that tomorrow. You know, and so I've been doing that with myself. Like, because it's things that I want. It's things that I want to do. And if I come home and I just do what's necessary to take care of my family and the basic needs for myself, but I'm not working towards these goals and these things that I want, like, I'm going to be in the same place. I'm going to still be writing the same goals every year, just changing the year. These are the same goals that I had last year and the year before last, and now they're my goals for 2025. No, I'm not doing it this year. Like, I'm not doing it this year. I'm not. Because one thing about it, like, this is how I just keep looking at it is I'm going to look up and I'm going to be 50 years old. And I'm going to be looking at, like, what the heck? Like, I mean, granted, good things have been happening to me and I have been scratching things off that are things that I wanted to do and different goals and stuff like that that I have wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have had those things to um come into fruition but it's still some other stuff that i want to do and i don't see the problem with it like if you're not working towards something like what, what are you doing like that's how i feel i don't want to just be living every day like just going through life doing the same thing every day just like not working towards nothing else like that's existing i want to live I want to be living, not just existing to just die one day. No, like, I want to be living my best life. And then when it's time for me to die, I have lived. You know what I'm saying? So, that is what I have been telling myself. Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. That's okay. Give yourself grace, but not too much. Not too much. And don't abuse the grace. Not too much. The second thing that um i don't know if y'all been seeing like this is a little a little thing that's been said on social media also is don't be afraid to be seen trying and I was like okay don't be afraid to be seen trying and that is exactly really what this whole channel is about because i'm showing y'all my journey of me trying to do like me trying to balance everything trying to balance um because Later on, I'm gonna be trying to show you. I'm gonna be showing y'all how I'm starting a business, um, because I'm not doing t-shirts no more. Like it's just, it, it's just not. I'm gonna do t-shirts for me and my family, and like close friends when they want them or whatever. But like to be selling them, it ain't what I wanna do. It just, it ain't working for me. I, I don't, I don't like doing it. It's too hands on, and I'm gonna have three kids. I ain't got time to be making shirts for everybody and it's too much labor into it. So, um, I'm going to be showing y'all that, the ups and downs of that and me starting that journey. You know what I'm saying? Me trying to, um, get my, just keep my life together, keep my house together, um, work because I still working nine to five and I probably will continue to work nine to five because I like my job and, um, I also just try to be a good wife, trying to be the best mama that I can be. You know what I'm saying? So I'm showing y'all my journey. I'm not being afraid. And me trying to, um, be a content creator. Like, that is something that I really am working towards and that I want to do. And I'm going to do it. So, um, I'm showing y'all all of that. Like, that is what I'm showing because I'm not afraid to be seen trying. Like, because one day i'm gonna be looking back at these videos and i'm gonna be like girl do you remember when you was doing that like you know like you remember you was like over there you were just like oh i want to do this i want to do this and now you doing it and now you living what you've been saying that you want to do like for real like that's how it's gonna be and so don't be afraid to be seen trying whatever you are trying to do don't be afraid to be seen trying doing it like document your stuff you don't even have to post on youtube if you don't want to but make videos so that you can go back and look at it Cause that, like that is one of the best things that I like about like YouTube. Cause I go back and watch videos on our family channel all the time of like the girls like when they were smaller. Because I ain't gonna get that time back. And so like it's I love to see it like them being like smaller and stuff and just watching them as they grow like through video. I've watched them in real life, but like going back and 
like reliving those memories is is like it's awesome so document oh yeah the pregnancy in me i'd be running out of breath but <laughs> the pregnancy in me <laughs> the heck what is that to say the <laughs> but yeah the, the baby be having me run out of breath a little bit sometimes so give yourself grace but not too much and please don't be afraid to be seen trying that is my two little cents little message that i wanted to talk about for you guys so yes y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think um y'all thoughts on this topic and yes i will see y'all in the next video because y'all hear my kids they saying mommy they just woke up from their nap so it's time for me to go i will see y'all in the next video um bye